Hey everybody, Pythor's in the house, and welcome back to Let's Play Kirby's Adventure. Uh, in the last episode, we completed all the normal levels, in this episode, we're going to be taking on King DDD. Now, King DDD, boss of Rainbow Resort. Almost said Rainbow Ride again. That was pretty stupid of me. Alright, he has this jump attack. He can run, he just runs at you sometimes. He also has the jump attack, obviously. He has a hammer. Stop. Hammer time. And he dives again. Jumps again. Again, he has a few other attacks. Like that. Suction. He can suck you up and then throw you too. And he can do that. Thanks for showing off your attack all your attacks early. It really helps with my let's play actually. And that doesn't really help much keep DDD. But you tried. Come on. Alright, let's go. Whoa. You can also suck up both of the stars at once, so so you can do more damage. Here, come on. All right, there we go. There we go. Now I'm doing much better than my first take or my first two takes. Come on. He also hits his hammer multiple times, which makes it more dangerous. Ooh, not really. Well, I forgot to jump farther, and we beat him. That's the end of the series, right? After only two minute, two and a half minutes, right? Right? Huh? What's this? The final boss. Oh crap! I forgot. All right, this is like a a side space shooter thing. All right, we're against this dude. All right, come on. Attacks are a bit tough to dodge, really, actually. It's not really about dodging it, it's about getting lucky, it's about memorizing those attacks and making... Yeah. Alright, you can also do that. Alright, yeah, this is not... Looks like King DD wasn't the main villain after all. And who's... Instead, we're fighting this mysterious, spherical orb. Come on. Alright, let's go. Oh, oh, they're all missing, dang. I barely dodged those myself. Oh crap. Am I gonna. No, I'm not. Miss! It's like I'm. It sounded like a guy in Mario Party. Alright, come on. Let's try this again. That's so cool. Wow. I wasn't paying attention again. This guy takes a lot of hits. It just takes some hits. Da -da -da -da. Do 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 take some hits do 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 take some hits just take some hits do 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 take some hits do 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 take some hits and there's some slow down take it easy slow down take it easy take some slow down take it some slow down take it take it some slow what's I saying alright come on alright come on Come on, dude. Be good, self. Oh, and also start. <sighs> I'm not gonna win this time, are I? Are I? Aren't I? I mean, did I just say are I? Crap, crap, crap. Oh, yeah, they're homing. Forgot about that. Ew, this is gonna be a bit tough. Final battle of this game is no pushover. Hey, yes, cutscene. I forgot. It's so annoying how he immediately shoots at you, and then you're not really. You don't think he's gonna do that. It's kind of annoying. It's, it's so annoying, and it's kind of annoying at the same time. Come on. Apparently, by my logic, in my world, works. Mm. Come on. Uh, yeah, he can also. Uh, Alright, come on. Come on, you sphere of darkness. Come on. Uh, this is... You may notice that there's a, there's another fight, a, lot, a much more iconic fight, in uh, Kirby's Dream Land 3 with similar structure to this. It's called Zero. It's pretty messed up. The actual fight itself is pretty much messed up. Try number four. Don't worry, if you get a game over, you just 
is not really different. Come on. I don't remember it being this hard. I remember the second phase being harder, but... Yeah, come on. Come on, my boy. My game boy. Even though I'm... Come on. Uh, even though I, you might hear me tapping the button a lot, it's not a button masher like uh, a lot of like some game. But it's actually you're just tapping the button a lot, but you're also moving around. It's not like you only win by pressing the button a lot. Otherwise, yeah. You see, he doesn't exactly shoot rapid fire. Come on, come on, come on, come on, boy. Come on, my game boy. Oh, I actually didn't get hit. Come on, those were blending in the background. Alright, come on. Alright, come on, boy. Right, I think we're done. <laughs> Looks like we're done. Yeah! Alright, was that the real final battle? The real, real final battle. Alright. That was pretty, that was pretty epic. Oh wait, no we're not done yet. We're not done yet. They faked us out twice. Whoa, Kirby's got some epic dodging skills. Oh yeah, this fight. Alright, this is the final boss of the game, Dracula. Crap. Right, yeah, he is no pushover. Actually, he's pretty tough. Right, yeah, he, he, you need. He, in order to hit him, you need to reveal his weak. He, you, he needs to have his weak point revealed. Oh God! How I hit him once? Forget how to do this. There we go, there we go. That, this is how we do, 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 do. Oh God, that's, that's one of the worst songs of all time. Crap. <laughs> that was not a very good attempt. Oh, and of course, I had zero lives when I finally beat him. Please tell me I don't have to... Don't... Okay, good, I don't, I just restart this final boss. But we have to go through the cutscene again, alright. Sorry I'm not doing too hot on this, it's just... Yeah, I'm just not too good at this game. This is a talented game. Yeah. Alright. Come on. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Alright, come on. Ugh. The, la the lag is just kind of making everything confusing, which isn't the game's fault or anything. Yeah, there we go. It's like, whoa, how could you have done that? How could they have done that? It. What? I did the complete. That. I was trying to do Transylvanian act. What was I? What? What kind of. I'm, I'm, I'm baffled. The... Alright, yeah, we just need to hit his weak spot enough times and then he'll die. Shut up and die. Dead. Oh man, and like his cloak is so powerful that it, it's like bounces off magic. Alright, come on. This fi the bottle um... <sighs> Come on. I'm trying I'm trying not to jump. I mean like I'm not trying not to do like the float jump if you know what I mean. Because then you can't attack. Uh... Mike I wasn't pressing up, I was pressing normal jump. Alright, I guess it's because it's a D-pad and you often press up on, on... You press up when you're trying to do left or right. I, I just did. Thanks for proving my point game. I just, just whatever. Just, just go with it. Alright, come on. Alright, there we go. There we go. Now we're doing, making some progress. I think this is where it starts to get a bit tougher. Yeah, his attack pattern actually changes. He has <gasps> AI <laughs> explosion mind blown. Like 
everyone's mind being blown at the same time. Jesus. Why doesn't... Yeah. Yeah, he's a bit harder to hit now because, you know, he gets smarter. Oh yeah, and he does that. He goes upside down, which makes him more menacing. Crap. <laughs> that was not a very good run. Oh, well, fine. Wanna be like that? I'm probably gonna... Yeah. Uh, speaking of kill... I'm gonna need to cut it a lot. Why didn't I... What? But I am not pressing up. But it says I'm floating. That has killed me so many times. Oh, what? But it didn't technically hit. Whatever. If I take... If I go through this fight without taking any damage, that would be amazing. That would... Because I've been doing pretty good so... Wow. If I knew the second. I'd say that, I just... And of course I'm taking damage like crazy now. Come on. Alright, come on, just die this time please. I have 4 health. You have... Not much. Oh, whoa, I guess he just cape blocked all of it. How does like a... How does a piece... A piece... A piece of cloth protect him from... From Kirby's powers. Just like Kirby's powers. Why? I am jumping! But it says I'm not jumping! I'm jumping and shooting. It says I'm only shooting. Is that. Am, am I, I, this is the. Not the NES version. This is the uh, Kirby's Dreamland version. Am I the only one who that, that only happens to? What? I haven't. The second I opened my mouth, I started taking a ton of damage. I'm not kidding. Did you see how well I was doing? Well, no, you didn't, because I cut out of it. I cut it out, but I mean, I cut out. You know what I mean? Those parts. There we go. Thank you. No. Ugh. on damage just because the let's play curse Ugh. why is it attack me why doesn't it protect me from all attacks it protects me from some attacks but sometimes it doesn't feel like working please work for the love of god work <laughs> <laughs> I am at 32 minutes and 10 seconds on my recording. I mean, it's all gonna be like a lot of it's gonna be cut out. <laughs> Dead. That is how the moon became a crescent, not because of change in the, the shifting of like the, the, cha the changing in orbit of the Earth or whatever. It's just because it blew up. Kirby fought to find the Star Wars because Kirby blew it up because that's how cool he is. But King DDD did not mean any harm. Plot twist. Bad dreams had invaded Dreamland. A nightmare came to the Dream Spring. I love how it doesn't explain any of the plot until the very end. Like, not all. And and, thro and tried to cause pain to the people. King DDD, DDD foiled the nightmare. Uh, yeah, TDD, thanks for doing all that work for us by hiding the Star Rod from him. Oh, okay. TDD helped Kirby beat the Nightmare. Could kind of told me that when we were battle for the death, but now everyone's dreams will return. Tonight, Dreamland will sleep well. I got a feeling. 
That tonight Dreamland will sleep well That tonight Dreamland will sleep well And it's 11 o'clock so I should sleep well too duh, 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 duh. He just throws the stars like goodbye Have <laughs> Kirby's accuracy is like amazing Kirby's accuracy Kirby's accuracy is amazing He's like through it and it's like It immediately lands like Perfect position Bye, Kirby. Uh, executive producer. Yeah, remember this insanely hard boss? You don't need to do that, Kirby. You can just, like, mash B. Just get the sword, mash B, and then you're, gold you're golden. Oh, man, remember this boss who saw... Actually, I did pretty badly on him, which was really pathetic. I don't know why I did so badly. Well, I guess because I was commenting. Whatever. Mr. Moon, Mr. Sun, <laughs> you're destroying a big ball of fire with a big ball of fire. Logic. <laughs> so, I guess I'll explain my thoughts on this project. Well, when I first did Kirby's Adventure, I wasn't sure I was going to turn out because I remember it being really hard. And while it did definitely get more challenging later in the game, wasn't as bad as I remembered it. Uh... I feel like Super Mario World is a better Let's Play overall, but I've had a lot of fun with this. Even though it sort of fell apart a little bit at the end. Like my commentary. Ugh. Especially spending 34 minutes trying to beat that boss. <laughs> Didn't it? Hardest boss ever. I remember this being a lot easier, but I... It, it's not that this boss is hard or anything. It's still probably the second easiest in the game other than Wispy Woods. Psh I love that. Psh was that high jump? Yeah, it's high jump. So cool. Come on. I had a lot of fun with it. Not my best work, but pretty fun. Bye bye. And this is pretty much the ending screen. So, anyways, guys, thanks for watching this Let's Play. My next project will actually be well, technically, it'll be two, it'll be two projects. Two projects. Blah. In the next LP. Next main LP will be taking to the skies. There's also gonna be like a sword involved. See, it's a, it's a plan word, because like both sky and sword are in the title. Well, it's not really sky, it's more like sky word. And it's, it's also, um, there's a bird in it, and like they fly around in the sky, and then like you, you go and you raise your sword to make a sky strike, and then you shoot the laser at the bad guys, and they die. And it's, it's Skyward and the sword. It's Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. God.